All right. I guess I'm on Tuesday. And it's actually Tuesday. Which means we're a day behind, but f*** you. We went to Creed. Did Amber Heard paint on her bruises? Are there really two Loch Ness monsters in Scotland? And why did Lisa Marie pack on 125 pounds in two years? All these questions answered and more on tonight's episode of Tabloid Tuesday. No. Up front and personal. Oh, here um, we go. Uh, this uh, Ryan Seacrest's gym workout leaves the media mogul an icky, sticky mess in New York City. He's running in New well, York icky, City. Icky, hicky, who cares? Right? Icky, hicky. <laughs> <laughs> icky, hicky. We're going to New York City. Yes, we are. Well, we're going to Brooklyn, which is New York City. I'm wandering. Do we not want to tell the story right now? No, okay. Uh, let's not. Great, great. Uh, Peaky Eater. Kate Hudson takes her toothpick to go as she leaves a California restaurant. Oh, who do... Who... Somebody's not Kate by me. Nobody cares. Uh, Rocker Sting gets pampered after performing I at the Starlight Festival in Spain. I think Sting is so hot. Like, I've always thought Sting Well, Sting can get a fucking facial. He's so hot. A uh, sad sack. Chipmunk cheeked Selena Gomez wears a shapeless frock as she wets her whistle in Rome. She's drinking out of a water bottle in Rome in a relatively unflattering dress. Like a broom skirt or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's not even that. Uh, shady behavior. Prince Michael Jackson, son of the light king of pop, gets rough and tumble with Bentley the Palm. Who fucking cares? You just happened to catch a picture and made shit up. Oh. And page six is always the royal. Always the royals. Uh, so apparently, oh, and things changed. <clears throat> yeah. No, they changed the number. Dropped it by almost half. Uh, it was five million, now it's three. What is? Frogmore Cottage. Oh. The oh, renovations yeah. they did, it was five million, now it's three. I forgot it was five million. Uh-huh. Right. Um, so Harry and Meghan are in their Frogmore Mary Cottage. Mary and Hagen. Uh, and they have issued a list of do's and don'ts. Shocking bands, including, but not limited to, uh, don't approach or instigate conversation. Do say good morning if we speak to you first. Don't pet or stroke the dog. Don't offer to walk the dog. Don't ask to see the baby. Don't post anything Could you through the mailbox. Being a psycho? It says this will only increase the public's anger towards Megan who's become a high-maintenance horror show since rising from second-rate TV actress to Duchess. Huh. That happened. I mean... Johnny Depp! Um, I want this to be true. I... Not that I want her to be a basher. No. But it's easier... For her to say it than it is for him to say it. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, there is a cigarette burn on his face, and he is laying on a gurney. Is well, that what he did. She something happened, and the end of his finger got chopped off. And see, it's chopped off here. Mm-hmm. And then he painted with it. Yeah. He painted with his blood on a mirror. That kind that's of the. Makes that's me the. Love the him. Well, yeah, but that's also no. damning. Is because his recollection of that is a little less. Detail oriented <laughs> than hers is. Yeah. Because, because he. Because, because, because! Okay, but the main focus of this oh, article okay. is that Johnny Depp put this picture out of himself. That was the main part, the focus of this was this was the first time that this was seen. Like, this was the most Which, and incriminating. There was a lot of information that came out before he went ahead and released that. Well, in this, the bruises picture, I don't see bruises, and he said it was makeup, and I. I can't tell. Mm-mm. It's not makeup. I don't even really I don't see bruises. Right. I see bad lighting and... Mm-hmm. So Amber, I mean, proud of you for pooping in his bed, but... I don't know. I'm not sold yet. Uh, wham! Oh, look at his gay lover! Just thrashing his house. So apparently George Michael's boyfriend... Mm, I love. Um, has been in the house... Since he died in December of 2016, and after he found out that he was cut from the will, he trashed it. And it goes, and he was arrested and hauled off, but they said a friend or a tattler or whatever said, everything that George had in that house is now ruined. Uh, I would hell do. hath no fury like a woman scorned. Amen. Proud Caitlin, ready to bear all. <coughs> I, I like this. 
But so apparently Caitlyn Jenner now that she has this body that she's always wanted, she is wanting to do a photo shoot to show it off. She's but the pictures will be photoshopped, she says. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what? What then? I don't care. I don't. Don't right. waste my fucking time. We've talked about Aretha before, so I read this, but it's not really saying a whole lot. The thing that I noted that was different about this is I, when all the wills were coming out and being found, I didn't realize that the niece was the executor or <clears throat> she she was that placed in charge. Yeah. She was placed in charge in like a legally mm -hmm. and... <clears throat> She found documents that had crossed off other people's name and written in hers. That didn't. Fish stick. <laughs> that is a fish stick if I've ever smelled one. And the most shocking thing was that she only had $80 million. Keith Richards, hey, 20 Got pages it. ago, had $250 million. Uh, Kanye West. That's weird. But he's going to church a lot, so he's trying to, um... It really feels like he's just exploiting, um, Christian He's trying slogans. to trademark, I don't trust know God, and Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit, and sell these, sell this merchandise at church for $50 a pot. I think that's... Pardon me? Exploitive. Like, yeah, I don't... Um, Russell Crowe. It hadn't been that fucking long since I said since I said he's fat. We don't care. <laughs> so he's fat in a different Still outfit. Yeah. Don't care. Yeah, no, we don't care. Uh, Bobby Ewing. This is so hateful. Yeah. In Dallas, he was gorgeous, but he is an old man. But he still looks good for an old man. Right, but like, it's no dream. dream. Dallas star Patrick Duffy is old and gray, and that's all they say. But he actually looks good. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That does not look like Jennifer Gray, so. so. She has some work done. Oh, she had. But she could not. She had at least 20 pounds of that nose cut off. Fashion birdie. Fashion, fashion birdie. Special effects. Woo! Um, let's start at the bottom. Three of ten, Natasha Leone. Uh, I think that's harsh. This is very much in her. And relatively put together. And but this is this is this is Russian doll. Right, I that's love Rus Russian. That's Russian like, doll oh. hair. The shape of that suit, like. And it shows off your sexiness. Five of ten, Iggy Azalea. The fancy rapper kept it pretty and basic in this muted mid-dress with a matching jacket. I do not like that outfit at all. I also think that it, it, we are lost in where these people are. Like, that's a red carpet. That's... But to put these all in the same thing and not tell us what is happening, I think is a little bit... I still wouldn't... I... Uh, eight okay, of ten, one. Regina King. The this big gets thing. an eight. That's terrible. Eight. And eight. That's terrible. The Big Bang Theory actress was a resounding smash in this head-to-toe floral Prada print suit. Hmm. Just because it's Her. Prada Does don't not. mean that it ain't no, Prada. I don't like it. Um, it's terrible. Right. And as, an, as, as a huge actress like this, you don't just get to put on a Prada suit and slide under the radar. No, everyone's going to see it. Yes. And it's terrible. Um, 9 of 10, Catherine Zeta-Jones. The Queen America star looks regal in the elegant off-the-shoulder hot pink sheath dress. Mm -hmm. I think she that that's a good dress. Mm -hmm. I do too. And I think she's... It gorgeous. hits everywhere. The accessories are right. It doesn't look like it's trying too hard. Mm -hmm. It's Yeah, it's bright and lovely for summer. It's great. What I want to know is what homosexual that does this is obsessed with Helen Mirren. Right. Because she has won so many, and rightly so. This one I wouldn't have put on top. I would. I would have put this over that. Mm. I mean, being unbiased about who is wearing it, I would have put this over that. But that's way easier than this. There was a lot more styling that went into this dress than that. I mean, that's a hot pink sheath with nude pumps and nude heels. Do you know what I mean? Nude I think pumps and nude heels. Mm -hmm. nude. <laughs> <laughs> nude pumps and a nude purse. Like, there was a lot more thought and risk involved in this. Scorpio. 
Which is a couple people in my uh -huh. life. Lately it seems you've taken two steps forward and one step back. But when Mercury meets Jupiter, life moves forward by leaps and bounds. Cash flows again. Some get a pay raise and some... or a surprise refund. Let someone know your romantic feelings. Venus says they feel the same. Well, that's not what I need to turn them up. You didn't want to hear that. Capricorn, trust... Tusk. Tusk. Trust your intuition in matters of finance while Mercury meets Neptune on Monday, goat. Taking on debt is a bad idea no matter what someone tells you. A romantic problem could arise when your partner feels ignored. Some extra attention under the Taurus moon will soothe your honey's mood. <coughs> me, 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 me. Uh, Pisces. A relative shocking news gets the, gets the week off to an interesting start. You may need to hide your reaction. But when Mercury and Neptune meet, more information arrives, making this easier to understand. And accept. Strange doings in the neighborhood spark turmoil. <laughs> Strange doings in the neighborhood. Strange doings in the neighborhood spark turmoil on the weekend. Don't get involved. That's good advice. No fish. Where's your fish? <sighs> I wanted some fish. Okay, Bagatarius. A partnership begun under the Aries moon leads to a major financial shift within months. Providing enough income for that dream vacation or a down payment on a house. Okay. Fitness needs attention. <laughs> and the cosmos boosts motivation to join a gym or go walking with pals. D has love potential. What is that? That dick! <laughs> <laughs> what D are we talking about? D. Zsa Zsa Gabor. Um, the main thing I took from this was I didn't realize she was married to Paris Hilton's grandpa. Uh huh. I, I got that too. And it doesn't surprise me that she was a little bit crazy and I kind of relate to some... No. And no. she slapped a cop. <laughs> okay, moving in. Um, Elton John, happy to be sober. He's 29 been... 29 years. 29. I love Elton John. Mm. Oh, Lisa Marie. This story made me kind of sad. 10,000 calories a day is what they're estimating she's consuming. And that she weighs approximately 230 pounds. I am 6'5", and that's not a lot off of what I weigh. Well, but I I am I am her height. And, and I was 100 and... If I, I, I'm I mean, gaining 15 pounds at my height is a big deal. Like, And I don't weigh anything near. Like, that's like two of me. So... It's it's sad, and I think the big thing at times she cries out for Elvis in her she sleep. She listens. Are you lonesome tonight? Like a little girl would. It's like she, mentally she never progressed from the day he died, which after losing my father mm -hmm. makes sense. It does, and she actually saw him. We read that like a couple weeks ago. Like she, her, her daddy's he was face on the was floor, in the, carpet. In the shag carpet. He's suffering and he's suffocating in the shag carpet or something like that. Nuts make men frisky. Well, it depends on what kind of man you're talking about. Yeah, or what nuts. Did I, you read the Loch Ness oh, Monster? Yes. This is the one that I thought was like kind of tabloidy. Yes. Yeah, I was excited about it. <coughs> so apparently... Oh, Nessie! That's how it starts. There are two Loch Ness Monsters. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe global warming is forcing them to... Become more apparent. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> but, um, and there were... There was poop, skin, and... DNA tests on poop, skin, and scales found in Loch Ness suggest the creature is real. And scientists insist the DNA tests prove the creature is real. I mean, um, this picture is pretty compelling. Well, and what they are saying is that it might be... That was a lovely note. <laughs> was it? Yeah. The researchers are investigating whether the beasts are long-necked plesiosaurs that survived the mass dinosaur extinction. I mean, they look like it. Very well could be. Yeah. I liked this article. That was fun. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> I did read this. Below Deck Skipper. Oh, I love this show. Below Deck, uh, 
Jamie and I saw them in the Bay in St. Thomas. It's a yacht. It's a charter yachting show, and they follow the lives of all of the crew. Mm -hmm. Not the fishermen, the crew. Oh, okay. Like they have millionaires, multi-millionaires on board, and they follow the lives of the crew. Okay. And the um, Captain Lee's son died of drug of a drug overdose. Do and you know what he was doing? Um. No. Accidental overdose. Um, addiction is an insidious disease, Captain Lee says after the funeral. After a 20-year struggle, he finally can succumbed to the demons he fought so long and hard. Hmm. The heartbroken couple urged fans to do whatever it takes to help addicted loved ones. Oh, I love that, see. and I love him. He's, yeah. hmm. He's a good friend. He's a good friend. He's a good friend. You guys hung out. Omaha Steaks. Get them while they're hot. <laughs> All right, bitches. All right, we've Time on Tuesday. All right, TTFN, bitches. Bye, guys.